bad mass airflow. AF sensor symptoms can be some of the most worrying issues a driver faces, but the good news is that they are usually simple to identify and deal with. In this guide, I'll walk you through how to recognize when your MAF sensor is failing, the most reliable way to diagnose it, and even a quick temporary fix that might help you save some money. Let's begin by understanding what exactly a MAF sensor is. The MAF, short for Mass Airflow Sensor, is responsible for monitoring the amount of air entering the engine. It sends crucial data to the car's computer, whether it's called the ECU, DME, or PCM, so that the system can calculate the correct balance between air and fuel. Without this information, the engine can easily end up running either too lean or too rich. By constantly measuring air intake, the MAF sensor ensures that the engine runs smoothly. From there, the control module adjusts fuel injection with precision, helping to maintain good fuel economy and reliable performance. When the MAF sensor starts to malfunction, the effects become apparent almost immediately. Below are the major issues that signal a bad, or failing MAF sensor. The first warning sign is engine misfires. When the sensor isn't working properly, the air-fuel mixture gets thrown off balance, which can cause incomplete combustion inside the cylinders. This often results in misfires, and you may feel your car jerking, surging, or vibrating, particularly at steady cruising speeds or when shifting through gears. The second common symptom is a rough idle. Just like with misfires, an inaccurate air-fuel mixture will affect how smoothly your car runs, especially at idle. At low speeds or when you're stopped, the engine actually needs a bit more fuel to keep running steadily. But if the MAF sensor incorrectly signals that airflow is too low, the computer responds by reducing the amount of fuel being delivered. This leaves the engine struggling and creates a rough, uneven idle. The third noticeable issue caused by a faulty MAF sensor is sluggish acceleration. If the problem hasn't yet advanced to more severe stages, you may simply notice that the car feels slow to respond. However, this can be quite dangerous, particularly when trying to merge onto a highway or overtake another vehicle. A weak fuel supply from inaccurate sensor data means the engine may hesitate, stutter, or jerk, making acceleration feel unpredictable and unsafe. The fourth symptom is engine stalling, which happens when the air-fuel ratio is far off, either too much air or too little fuel. This is more common in older cars since newer ones often use extra sensors to keep the engine running. Still. A dirty MAF can trigger a chain reaction affecting the oxygen sensor, catalytic converter, and even the whole emissions system. The fifth red flag for a bad MAF sensor is reduced fuel efficiency. When the sensor sends incorrect data to the engine control module, it often causes the car to burn more fuel than necessary. Not only does this cost you extra money at the pump, but it also increases emissions. In fact, if your car is burning excess gasoline, it may fail an emissions inspection. Extra fuel consumption means higher carbon dioxide output, which is exactly what testing looks for. The sixth clear symptom of a failing MAF sensor is incorrect air-fuel ratios, either too rich or too lean. A faulty sensor may signal the PCM to inject too much or too little fuel, and most other problems stem from this imbalance. You can check by using a gas analyzer, a multimeter, or even by smell. Strong gasoline odor means it's running rich, while a sulfur or rotten egg smell points to a lean mixture. Both conditions are harmful and should be fixed right away. The seventh sign that your mass airflow sensor may be going bad is difficulty starting the engine. When the air-fuel mixture becomes far too lean or overly rich, the engine may have trouble firing up. It's similar to trying to light a damp match. It simply won't ignite properly. Of course, many different issues can cause hard starts, which is why the diagnostic test I'll share with you later is so important. The eighth symptom of a failing MAF sensor is black smoke from the exhaust. When your engine runs overly rich and burns too much fuel, the excess fuel comes out as thick black smoke. This is a clear indication that the mixture is off, but it can also do serious damage to the catalytic converter. 
Running the engine too rich creates extra stress on the converter, and replacing it can cost you upwards of $3,500 or even more. The ninth warning sign is engine knocking. If you hear pinging, knocking, or rattling sounds coming from your engine, it could mean that the combustion process is happening unevenly because of an improper air-fuel ratio. These noises are evidence that the engine is struggling to maintain smooth operation. Left unchecked, this condition can damage the cylinders themselves, a repair that may cost more than $4,000. But don't worry, I'll also share a helpful trick for dealing with this issue. Now that we've covered the symptoms, let's move into diagnosing the problem properly. Before you spend money on replacement parts, it's important to test the sensor carefully. Step one, use an OBD2 scanner to check the live data. At idle, the MAF sensor should read zero milligrams. Step two, start the engine and watch the sensor values as you rev it. The readings should rise as RPMs increase and fall again as they drop. If the numbers don't change at all, there could be a problem with the sensor itself or with the wiring connected to it. Step 3. Locate the MAF sensor in your vehicle. In most cars, it sits between the air filter box and the intake manifold attached along the air intake hose, usually right after the air filter box. Step 4. Disconnect the sensor and check it closely for any signs of corrosion or damage. Step 5. Consult your vehicle's repair manual to confirm the correct voltage and sensor values for your exact model. If the sensor isn't showing the proper readings, you may need to clean it, repair the wiring, or replace the sensor entirely. But what if your check engine light hasn't come on and you're still noticing symptoms? There are a couple of alternative ways to test the MAF sensor. The second method is called the pull test. With the engine running, disconnect the electrical harness from the sensor. If the engine immediately stalls, the sensor is still working. If the engine continues running with no change, then the sensor is faulty. The third diagnostic method is the tap test. Start the engine, let it reach normal operating temperature and allow it to idle. Then, using the handle of a screwdriver, gently tap the sensor. If the engine reacts by revving, stalling, or shaking, it's a strong indication that the sensor is defective and either needs to be cleaned or replaced. Because the MAF sensor plays such a crucial role in maintaining proper fuel mixture and engine performance, it's important not to ignore the symptoms. If you notice any of the warning signs we've discussed, whether it's rough idling, stalling, poor fuel economy, or black smoke, take the time to diagnose the issue properly.